people. Uh, hey, man, we got to wrap things up. Uh, first of all, uh, do you want to talk plugs? Dr. Kiki, what do you got to plug for us? You got something going on. What do you, what's going on? What do I have to plug? I have This Week in Science, which is on Twit Live on Thursdays, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time. And we have a great we have great fun after show. Both of you, both of you have been on this week in science before. I've uh, never been on we with both got you, to, uh, but not with me. Guest hosted. Yeah. yeah, so I'd love to be on with you sometime. We'll have to do that. We will make. We'll have to make that happen. I think that would be sure. fun. Um, Doctor Kiki Science Hour is on Thursdays, four p.m. Pacific time on Twit. Um, me. Oh, and also I'm on Justin TV. I do a science chat on Fridays, which is just me. Hanging out with the chat room, talking about science. It's at noon Pacific time, Fridays. Uh, right that is on. Awesome. Uh, I'm yeah. looking at. Uh, uh, look at this. All right, we got. We it's got. A good this time. is great. As a matter of fact, uh, let me see. I don't know who posted it. I'm looking at some of the late entry NSFW posters. This is working out re really well. I think we got some strong contenders right here. Um, as always, you know, I, I, if I promote one thing, is just my Google Plus because uh, I love using it, and you get to have real discussions with people. Uh, that's a good one there. That's not the one I was looking at for the for the movie poster. Um, and then, uh, what about you, Justin? What do you got to promote? Uh, I think is that the one you were looking that's at. That's the one. Yes. Big, big podcasters, little problems, which I think might actually have to switch around because either me or Brian are particularly tall. Um, but I there we go. I keep your, poster. Keep your posters poster. coming, folks. Uh, we will have a uh, uh, we, we will cut down the finalists next week. Uh, follow me in Google Plus, despite the fact that uh, uh, Dr. Kiki and the owner of the TARDIS can't get on there with their proper titles. Um, I, I do, I do enjoy it. And eventually I do have faith that the folks out there at the Googleplex will, will come to their senses and let, uh, let, let these fine folks of letters, uh, you know, call themselves what they want for Pete's sake. But, uh, follow me, Justin Young, Google Plus, Justin R. Young on, uh, on, 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 on the Twitter. And then also on iTunes, me and my friend, uh, Ashley Paramore do a show called, uh, The Online Ethicist. We take all the sticky situations that you might get yourself into in uh, online social media stuff, uh, including we talked about the Google Plus uh, name stuff. You can uh, download us on, on iTunes, so just search for Online Ethicist. Now, and, uh, normally, jo yeah, jo go Jonathan, uh, where, where, where should people check your stuff out? Uh, you can go, I, uh, my album, my new album is available for pre-order at uh, www.jonathanmanmusic.com. Uh, and also I have t-shirts there for sale and uh, brand new screen printed really nice t-shirts. And uh, at Song A Day Man is my Twitter. It's a good place to go as well. And you got, you got gigs coming up, right? Uh, I, I do. I saw on your, yeah. Plug those. I do. Uh, I have, uh, they're all in the Bay Area. Uh, on September 10th, I'm playing at this place called the Stork Club in Oakland. And then on September 28th is my thousandth song celebration record release show thing uh, with a bunch of special guests and stuff. And that'll be uh, at the Red Devil Lounge on September 28th. You can get tickets uh, via my Bandcamp page. The Jonathan Mann Music page is a good place to go. Uh, let me, let me just tell you this. Uh, if you are a big YouTube fan or you have a YouTube account at all, uh, subscribing to uh, the Rock Cookie Bottom is probably the best value you're going to get on a YouTube account every single day, a new song, and they're all awesome. Check that out. Now, Brian, normally this is where we just end the show, or you, right? Yeah, well, a lot of times we ask for for an encore presentation or something. I should point out one thing, that squaresplace.squarespace.com. Squaresplace, <laughs> a place for squares. <laughs> Screw your circles, Google+, Plus <laughs> is now up and running. So go to squaresplace.squarespace.com and you can check that out. Uh, but yes, normally this is when we ask for you for an encore, but uh, I don't know if you guys remember, had a little bit of a guest last week. Had a bit of a Kickstarter, had a bit of magic happen live on the air, and then we got a thank you gift, Justin. Uh, yeah, so um, Get Set Go were, were on, and they were so nice, and, and they, uh, they wanted to give us a, a gift because a lot of you guys who listen to the show, both on podcast and live, uh, donated very, very heavily to their Kickstarter, and uh, it got funded as of today. So uh, as a thank you note, they wanted to write us our, our new end of the show music and uh jammer b do we have that queued up oh 
Uh, where would I find that music? <laughs> that would be something that I emailed you uh, earlier today. Tony, leave all this in. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I have an email about Jonathan Mann from you. <laughs> Hello. I can resend it. Yeah. You're all for it, too. Everybody uh, this- send Jammer B emails. Give, give him, give him, you know, send him a note. Just let send him know. Send him a note. Tell to. him how much you love him. That's Tony at twit.tv. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here we go. It's back off good. to him. That was good. So uh, I, have, I should set this up. Like, uh, you obviously sent it to me telling me what it was, but I started playing it here in the hotel room earlier today, and John was over there reading an article or something, and about 20 seconds into it, he sort of sets down what he's, what he's reading and looks up, like, what's Brian listening to? And then the reaction when the lyrics came in, his brains totally exploded everywhere. It's, this, is, this is how we're going to – this is the sweet, sweet lullaby that sends us off to Betty Bye late on a Friday night. Okay, so um, I think I'll play it now. Let's see if it. Yeah, plays. and so so here we go. This will be the new ending music for every NSFW show, but we will uh, because we uh, we really do want uh, everybody to listen to it at least once. We're going to play it in its entirety uh, tonight. So uh, also stay tuned to the end of this episode for the uh, movie trap minute with uh, Roberto Viegas. Finally, all the movies are out. Find out who is most likely going to be the winner when we crown them a Dragon Con. Uh, Con of the Dragon 2, Double Complete Dragon. Until next week, Brian, die in a fire. It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW the show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Than spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you NSFW I love you It's so sweet It's so sweet uh, Yeah, I believe Mike TV joined us There you go, right now Everybody is asking Mike TV is shouting I love you in the chat room But everyone else is asking Where they can get a hold of it um, That's it for this episode of NSFW Take it away with the Movie Draft Minute Roberto Villegas I don't know if we have that to Jammer B. We're going to have to give that one to Tony. Okay. Well, this, that, that one will go straight to Tony. It, it's in the dock if you want to play it right now for us. I will. Give me a <laughs> sec. Sure. <laughs> I, love, I love what they're saying in the chat room. They're like, and welcome to your we movie. That's why paid them $8,000. Okay, here it comes. Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Vegas, still filling in for Chip Blardiblar. Achievement unlocked, all movies released. Let's get to it. Sarah Lane remains in first place with $848.9 million, with Brian Brushwood still in second with $598.8 million. Tom Merritt's in third place with $522 million, with Rise of the Apes bringing in $16 million this week. Cargill's in fourth place with $506.4 million, with Conan the Barbarian bringing in $10 million this week. Justin Robert Young plunges into fifth place with $408.7 million. 
And bringing up the rear is Jason Howell with $438.7 million, with Spy Kids bringing in a disappointing $11.6 million. That's your Movie Draft Minute. I'm Robert Villegas. The, uh, the chat I'm room is last. melting. I'm not what, last. What, 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 I'm not last. <laughs> what, what, did, what did you just say, Justin? He's I'm not, not last. I'm not last. Yes. Oh. I'm not last in the game I invented for two years in a row. Hooray. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, and I would like to point out sweet, sweet vindication to the so-called April Fool number two. <laughs> two. So it's, oh yeah! So How much that, did you yeah. win? Did you win? Did you win the uh, richest prize in fantasy in non in non sports fantasy betting? <laughs> no, no, I did not. Uh, clearly, clearly, the a winner is Sarah Lane. But, um, yes. Hey, do we want to run the simulator? Uh, Dr. Kiki, if you have to go, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you arranged uh, for somebody to watch after the kiddo while you hung out with us. You were freaking hilarious you did an awesome awesome job thank you i had so much fun it's always it's always a good time to hang out with you guys always you um, are always the best no um, you, kiki seriously you guys uh, you are you are so awesome and i mean you guys as in you and you and nano there you are you are a, a magnetic comedy team even now at the end of the show uh right. thank you so so much for coming on Thank you for having me on, and I hope to see you guys again soon. We'll 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 trade shows. We'll do more of this stuff. Sure. Yeah. No. No. Anytime you you need me or Brian, I mean, I think we're we're always ready to rock and roll. Awesome. You make me want to go awesome. make another baby. Oh, talk to your invisible wife. <laughs> I know. All right. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Doctor Kiki. Thanks, guys. Have a good is, night. Is Jonathan Mann still on the line? Oh uh, no. Okay, good. I didn't want him around anywho. All no. right. Jeez. <laughs> no. <laughs> you think I'm pink? Wait until you saw my wife. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, people are saying we should call it Perry Bachman Overdrive. <laughs> on, on account of the, uh, the, the epic um, opera. Political I'm opera. I'm so glad. So wait, you hadn't, you hadn't seen that song or, or the video or whatever before he, he played it. Right, Brian? Nope. Nope, because nope, nope. I knew I knew that any skepticism you have would be gone in two places: the the Ron Paul part and the Bachman and Perry stuffing their faces. Oh twisting. my god! Oh no! Look, well, first of all, I have I have no skepticism. It's a great idea and it's awesome. And Jonathan Mann is a supreme talent. Uh, but I'll tell you, I was surprised and thrilled to see how the chat room exploded with Ron Paul stuff at that point. That was awesome. It is really um, crazy that a bunch of people on the internet would be really excited about Ron Paul. I see where you're yeah, coming from. Yeah, that was from. a surprising thing to me. That was uh, that was <laughs> kind of kind of nutty. How about that? How about that? Uh, what are we going to call this one? This one's called. Um, Yes, just that. That picture. Can we embed a picture as our show title, Jammer B? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it, you it. <laughs> uh, no, it's not going to be see you next Friday. Um, double complete, double complete corn dog. Corn dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a winner. Yeah. Yeah, I think right. uh, Doctor Kiki versus the Mopocalypse. Square, squares place. <laughs> the place where square. The place for squares. Squares place. <laughs> Talking of which. Talking of which. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know I'm okay with that. Talking um, of which. <laughs> Modinga is my homeboy. <laughs> And by the way, I actually here's here's the kind of jerk I am. I wrote all that out. The proper way to spell Modinga is M O apostrophe D I N G A. No one will ever see what I wrote but me. But I wrote out everything is M O apostrophe D I N G A. I'm such a weirdo. Um, uh, so yeah, let's just go talking of which or um, or double talking of complete corn dog. Uh, 
All right, double complete corn dog. Well, but, but that's a visual gag. Nobody will get that on the. Uh, True. On the talking of which it is. All right, talking of which. All right. <clears throat> well, but but then again, that's that's nope. That has us given up a punchline. I I guess I say but, Bachman, but it's also a weird enough. It's a weird enough one that like I it's a one note joke. Perry, I say Bachman Perry Overdrive because it pays off with the the political song opera. Rock opera. All right, let's go. Bachman Perry All right. overdrives. All right. This is NSFW episode 90 for a date that I cannot read because it's not pulled up right now. There we go. This <laughs> is NSFW. Rainbow. Sorry. <laughs> this is NSFW episode 90. <laughs> for two- <laughs> Did you like the way I was even going to try to plow through that one? <laughs> <laughs> This is it. Okay, shh. shh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mo Dinga Mo it. problems. Wait, hold on. What about Mo Dinga Mo problems? All right, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Justin, shh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is NSFW episode 90 for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. Mo Dinga, Mo Problems. Once more, please. Uh, All right. Come in. Oh. This is NSFW episode 90 for Tuesday, August 23rd, 2011. Mo Dinga, Mo Problems. There you go. Five take Brian. That's what they call me. <laughs> FTB. <laughs> FTB. I learned. It. I got to do the. Uh, you're like I'm. I'm. Oh man, you can't even see me. There you go. I'm like. I'm like FTB. Mm. <laughs> yeah. FTB. Um. <laughs> yes. There's your FTB right there. <laughs> I have to read the ads, Brian. I have ads to read. By the way, I stole your and, so you don't get to do it this time. I, st- I there's only one and per episode, and I stole it. Um, I didn't hear it, so I don't believe you. <laughs> um, all right, are we ready to go, Jammer B? We we are. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. I'm a little parched. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. Now I need to bring up the other ads. Need to make sure they're in front of me. <clears throat> All right. Squarespace.com. The fast and easy way to create a high. Qu- oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to say, <laughs> you can't just say. Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, go to Squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW8. Can we get you to do that in a uh, key of E? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I love that view, Jerry B. That's amazing. You should go to that like 10 times a show. It's such a great view. Um, all right. Well, because uh, apparently I'm, uh, I'm fooling around in uh, amateur hour here. Somebody stepped on my and while I was trying to and the, the ads. So I'll do it again. And Squarespace.com. The fast and easy way to create a high quality website or blog for a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months. Go to squarespace.com and use offer code 
<clears throat> NSFWA. Bravissimo! Bravo! Bravissimo! Are you, are you cheering for yourself? Uh, look, we need to run the run I run the twit think... simulator. Run the twit simulator. I'm gonna run the twit simulator. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying please no encore. <laughs> it's not far. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, my mom was. He could have of... shouted his email in. Said I wanted. <laughs> and there he goes. Special. <laughs> uh, this just in, we are live on the scene. One just a robber young just killed 35 uh, children's ability to heal to hear. Um all right, no, to heal. Heal. no, heal. no. It's it's a special young. it's a noise I make to stop their healing, and I'll have them get their filthy <laughs> grubby hands off me. Now back to regular programming. You you <laughs> you you stop the cleric's ability to heal, yes. Yes. Show's on. Leo, show's on, show's on, show's on. Leo, show! It's time for show. the Tech Guy Show. Thank you. Special report. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Twit Live News Center. Breaking news, everybody. Brian Brushwood decided to pee in a jug and sell it. Now for an exclusive interview, Brian Brushwood. This is jug. Where's the jug? Get out of here. We're here to talk to the jug. <laughs> oh, Jug, what do you feel about this kind of the sale that you the price you got for the sale? Inspiring stuff. <laughs> now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Shut up! When I tell you to shut up, you shut up, Jug. Back to regularly scheduled programming. How did you get your screen name? Ace Tech. Oh, well, that's, you know what? I'm that's just watching it go by on the chat room. Yeah, it's an interesting story. Special report. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. We can now confirm <laughs> the best bits that were set up definitely didn't even show up in the show. We now return you back to your regularly scheduled you Twit programming. <laughs> You got a free pre. You're one of the very few people that got a free. Not review. at all. I think okay, there are quite so a few now, reviewers so here. Yeah, Scoble has one I, Mike, that's BS, and I'm really pissed <laughs> off. Special hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> and now we return you back to your uh, regularly scheduled Twit programming. I drove my uh, wife's car into a another vehicle. Wow, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, was that supposed to happen? Breaking news, everybody. I, I'm dark. <laughs> this is no, that's here. me. I'm frozen. Oh. Apparently, apparently, there's like a witching hour when uh, somewhere around clear 10 because a lot of people stood in line. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, like at ten o'clock, I guess the bandwidth gets used because it seems like everything's gotten real. Real herky jerky over here on the bandwidth. Yes. Well, that's now back to your regularly scheduled Twitch program. <laughs> Clear, because a lot of people stood in line for a long time and shelled out money you know what? for their eyes. Tom, iPhones. you're such so, a troll. Yeah. Screw you. Just want to make that clear. Screw you, Tom. Special report. They're not I never all winners. saw that one. <laughs> uh, uh, there's some there's some uh, interesting theories why at around ten o'clock in the evening suddenly um, the internet bandwidth would go down. People are suggesting that maybe a lot of people are watching NSFW. Yes, exactly, exactly. Maybe they've gotten their FAP degree <laughs> twice. Maybe they're looking in a row. for a certain dolphin. dolphin. Uh, we we have back to back to back to you, Twit. I recommend thick woolen socks. Do it now, before you lose your feet. Special report. <laughs> and we're back. 
Of course, we all remember that moment in Twit history. Why? Because it just happened, and we cut into it. <laughs> Don't know why I wanted to say that. I just kind of did. I guess I miss you, Twit audience. I know we've had our differences. But don't leave. Seriously, don't, because I cut your break lines. <laughs> now back to the regularly scheduled Twit program. Wow. You were using somebody else's Wi-Fi. Not uncommon. Not legal. For internet. Special report. <laughs> <laughs> In your face, random caller into the tech guy. <laughs> Get out of the desert and pound sand. And don't be stealing yeah. any camel's Wi-Fi. Why don't you go back at- to the why don't you go back to the Thieves Guild and show them all the Wi-Fi that you stole? Hold it up like a bunch <laughs> so many dead ferrets and say, these Wi-Fi's <laughs> belong to the people. Now they belong to me. How many dead like- ferrets? Who would steal <laughs> dead ferrets? <laughs> people steal dead ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> Were they dead when she stole them? Well, no, I mean, they're dead now. Because you know, I mean, I mean, why would you walk up with a bunch of scrambling ferrets? You gotta be. Was he killing the king's ferrets? Was it the king's the... own ferretage that she plundered? It... No, no. Nine. No. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Well, now, let's go back to Twit programming. Ball dancing. Ball dance. Special report. I'm gonna save all of these. I'm gonna save all of these, and uh, these are all awesome. Uh, they're all amazing. Back, Is that back it? to you, Jammer B, or do we have one more? There's one more. Uh. For the final time tonight, let's run the, the, the Twitron simulator 5 million. A computer just goes and kicks sand in the trivia minds of Jeopardy. Just, just piss it all over us. <laughs> oh, the Twit simulator is the greatest thing to happen. Oh my god. The Twit simulator. <laughs> Piss it all over us. Wow. Um, uh, well, that's great. Is there any other business that we needed to do? That was great. Uh, listen, I think sometimes you can't bottle punk. You can't bottle, you can't bottle lightning. And this was one of those episodes where we were just, it was too strong. We were just, we were well, just dominant. spilled out all over the place. It was lightning all over us. Sometimes you hit a home run so far. It shatters the lights of the stadium. And, and, and that, that, that one times. song for the common man plays, and you go on to found Sundance. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly what you just said is the best way to, to, to happen. Uh, all right, let me just do uh, one quick plug. Uh, folks, if you are going to come to Dragon Con, uh, I guess BBPD would probably be the best place. If you want to gather Diamond Club style, there are so many people that are going, that I know have told me they're going, that have hotel rooms. Uh, if you are trying to think about, you're on the fence, maybe I want to go, I don't know how I'll get there. You're looking for maybe someone to split a ride, split a hotel room. Get on BBpedia and, and let's get a ride share, hotel share, thread going. If somebody's interested in that, I know it's such a great community that I'm sure there will be. Uh, and I'm sure people that are driving wouldn't mind having some other money on the gas tank. So uh, check that out. Um, also, there is a, a Facebook event, people are saying. So for, for if you are definitely going to our live show, make sure you so, show your support there. Uh, check it out on the Facebook. Anything else, Brian? Uh Yeah, in all seriousness, um, uh, this is the first time like uh, like uh, I'm going to do my hair tomorrow, so I actually get to not care about my hair for two seconds, and you can't even see it. This is what happens when I mess up my hair. It creates a, a distortion field. And I go into the negative zone. So if you'd like to see me out of it, then what I need you to do is seriously go check out Ernie Klein's book, Ready Player One. It is so much fun. It is so much fun. I cannot remember the last time I had that much fun reading a book. And there's, there's a couple of moments early on that you're like, okay, I can swallow this. Once you swallow that and, and dive all the way in, it is, it's pure 
Geek Joy. It's the game. It's the book everyone will be talking about in all of geek culture in a month, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I've been getting it. a kickback on this book. <laughs> I'm just really excited for it, man. I know. If anybody deserves to all of a sudden become the next Neil Stevenson, it's Ernie Klein because he is a genuinely awesome, awesome guy. Who uh, who I'm gonna uh, we'll we'll get him on the show. He's very funny. His Hopefully. slam poetry. He's the guy. He's the guy who play play the thing about the monkeys. He's the one who wrote that. Um, go go to YouTube.com and uh, and write the Ernie Klein monkeys. You talking to me? No, I well I'm talking to the world. <laughs> you hear that world? All of you do that, especially you, Jammer B. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up and give you guys a link to it. Ernie Klein monkeys. Um, he's uh. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I am going to... Yes, I'm going to paste it right in there. And... Badoom. I just pasted it in there, Mr. Jammer B, if you could play this. Um, He's so talented and so good. And now here's something he wrote a long time ago. Uh, give me a sec. Take your time, bro. All right. I think uh, it'll come up now. Here you go. Check this out. This is some of his slam poetry that he did. There are billions of galaxies in the observable universe, and each of them contains hundreds of billions of stars. In one of these galaxies, orbiting one of these stars, lies a little blue planet. And this planet is run by a bunch of monkeys. Now these monkeys don't think of themselves as monkeys. They don't even think of themselves as animals. In fact, they love to list all the things that they think separate them from the animals. Opposable thumbs, self-awareness, They use words like homo erectus and australopithecus. You say tomato, I say tomato. They're animals, all right. They're monkeys. Monkeys with high-speed digital fiber optic technology, but monkeys nevertheless. I mean, they're clever. You've got to give them that. The pyramids, skyscrapers, phantom jets, the Great Wall of China. That's all pretty impressive for a bunch of monkeys. Monkeys whose brains have evolved to such an unmanageable size that it's now pretty much impossible for them to stay happy for any length of time. In fact, they're the only animals that think they're supposed to be happy. All of the other animals can just be. But it's not that simple for the monkeys. You see, the monkeys are cursed with consciousness. And so the monkeys are afraid. So the monkeys worry. The monkeys worry about everything, but mostly about what all the other monkeys think. Because the monkeys desperately want to fit in with the other monkeys. Which is pretty hard to do because a lot of the monkeys hate each other. This is really what separates them from the other animals. These monkeys hate. They hate monkeys that are different, monkeys from different places, monkeys who are a different color. You see, the monkeys feel alone. All six billion of them. Some of the monkeys pay another monkey to listen to their problems. The monkeys want answers, and the monkeys know they're going to die, so the monkeys make up gods, and then they worship them. Then the monkeys start to argue over whose made-up god is better. Then the monkeys get really pissed off, and this is usually when the monkeys decide that it's a good time to start killing each other. So the monkeys wage war. The monkeys make hydrogen bombs. The monkeys have got their entire planet wired up to explode. The monkeys just can't help it. Some of the monkeys play to a sold-out crowd of other monkeys. The monkeys make trophies and then they give them to each other, like it means something. Some of the monkeys think they've got it all figured out. Some of the monkeys read Nietzsche. The monkeys argue about Nietzsche without ever giving any consideration to the fact that Nietzsche was just another monkey. The monkeys make plans. The monkeys fall in love. The monkeys have sex and then they make more monkeys. The monkeys make music and then the monkeys dance. Dance, monkeys, dance. The monkeys make a hell of a lot of noise. The monkeys have so much potential if they would only apply themselves. The monkeys shave the hair off of their bodies in blatant denial of their true monkey nature. The monkeys build giant monkey hives that they call cities. The monkeys draw a lot of imaginary lines in the dirt. 
The monkeys are running out of oil, which is what fuels their precarious civilization. The monkeys are polluting and raping their planet like there's no tomorrow. The monkeys like to pretend that everything is just fine. Some of the monkeys actually believe that the entire universe was created for their benefit. As you can see, these are some messed up monkeys. These monkeys are at once the ugliest and the most beautiful creatures on the planet. And the monkeys don't want to be monkeys. They want to be something else. But they're not. Anyway, <clears throat> a bunch of people, in fact, I saw in the chat room, had seen that back from a long time ago. Uh, Ernie's been super talented for a long time, and it's really, it's always satisfying to see something explode from somebody who is, you know, super awesome, super talented, and super much deserves success. And so uh, this thing's awesome. And if you do the audiobook, Will Wheaton does a really good job. And that'll be the last plug for that for the rest of the day. In the dark. In the dark. It doesn't dark. matter in the dark what happens. You can throw you plug all you want in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> we got a few more. Oh, Whose plug, plug is that? Them. I don't know, baby. Feels good in the dark. <laughs> I don't know who. Uh, holy cow. <laughs> Look at that. Justin. That's awesome. It's, well, you're it's missing not just the awesome. awesome. It's, it's the, the awesome. Yes. That's awesome. Sorry, people are talking to me and then, and then sharing. All right. <clears throat> Look, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I don't see any way for us to do any after show, although we kind of gave you a bit of an after show right here. I don't know if you noticed. We've been around uh, for a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, listen, guys, um, I, I love all of you, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head home, and Brian's on the road, and he's had like a grand total of five seconds sleep. Um, so we're going to peace out for right now. But uh, everybody, make sure you tune in uh, to uh, Online Ethicist tomorrow. Um, it's usually at 9.30. Might be a little bit later tomorrow, but uh, not much later. So I know Ashley will definitely be on at 9.30. So check that out, justintv.com slash online ethicist. And uh, subscribe on iTunes because I think it's a very fun podcast and I very much enjoyed doing it. Uh, see you next Friday, Jamer B, right? <laughs> see you next. See you next uh, time we see you. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> so long, says the hair of Brushwood. Oh, I should point out that if you're in the Chicago area, come on out to my show at Harper College at noon tomorrow in Palatine, Illinois, on the north side of Chicago, and uh, we'll hang out and I will buy you lunch. And by buy you lunch, I mean I'll go to lunch with you and you can buy your own damn lunch. But we can <laughs> hang out together. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>